Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today with me I have my little sister Jessica. Say hi Jessica. <laughs> today we're just going to be doing the sister tag. She finally uh, let me do the sister tag with her. She really doesn't like being on camera. But we're just going to be answering questions so you guys can get to know me a little bit more and get to know my family. So uh, if you want to see the sister tag, please keep on watching. So I am 20. How old are you? <laughs> uh, 16. I think Jessica is a lot smarter than I am even though she's younger in age. I feel like she's an old soul in a young girl's body. What word can I use for that? Can I just say? Why? Wow. You are so much wiser than me. Fashionable. Fashionable? No, <laughs> people think we're not sisters, so we're like, oh, this is my sister, and they'd be like, are you guys gonna see mom and dad? Like, are you? I used to get asked, are you adopted? For <laughs> when I was really little, and I was like, I don't think so. But um, Jessica and I, my mom is a lot darker in skin tone. I think she's like between me and Jessica, she's like the middle color, like the caramel, and my dad is a little bit lighter than me. No, a little bit darker than me. Right now I have tan, so. But, um, Jessica came out like my mom's side of the family. Really, really dark and stuff. And I got like my dad's side of the family. But I'm like the whitest out of all of us. I've said this before. Like, I'm so white. This is like tan now. But I am literally so white that I, compared to Jessica, I'm like the vanilla. And she's like the chocolate. So we never get mixed up whatsoever. Plus our personalities are like completely different. Like we're polar opposites. Literally. You're in my chat. Something that annoys me about you is. Oh, I know. She is so stubborn. You're trying to give her advice. You're trying to tell her things that like will help her, benefit her. And she's like, but I know what I'm doing is right. So she's always right. And she's very stubborn. Something that she gets from my dad. Okay, so first off, let's, that question is wrong. <laughs> I am not a YouTube guru. Let's rephrase the question. What do you think about me doing YouTube videos? Um, I support you if you like it, but thank you. Yeah. yeah, is that even a question? <laughs> like, we always argue. We're four years apart, so I think that's like a big thing. But even then, what sister or brother don't argue like that? Yeah, we argue. Maybe about stupid things sometimes, but I'm sorry. You help me with outfits and stuff. <laughs> I help you with other stuff too. Like I, I yeah, go to like school, college. School. Yeah, like I tell her, like things that I went through and things like that. I think that the best thing about my sister is there's so much willpower. She's a very strong, independent person. So. I would, I literally would go to her when I was 16, when I was her age. A really big heartbreak when I was 16, and I've spoken about this like so many times. But she literally would help me out. I just think that like I really admire how much willpower she has and everything that she does for me because even though we argue and fight, she has like the biggest hurt ever, and I love her for that. Um, what is that? Mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think that like ever since I started my channel I was very very real to like the point like I was always like straightforward with you guys and I said a lot of like personal stories so I don't think that like there's any dirt so if I find out dirt I'll tell you guys I mean if you find out dirt about me you tell me like I don't, I don't have any really I don't have any dirt so. when tell the story <laughs> okay when we were little one time we went to Miami's Aquarium oh, yeah. for an Easter egg hunt and there were like uh they were like sides like yeah but jump houses mm -hmm. inflatable like yeah they're like inflatable slides but they would put water on yeah. them so we were sliding down holding hands uh and for some weird reason I got caught in the slide <laughs> Yeah, it was like a slide that like it would go down and then it would have like a little thing and she was always very very little yeah. like she so would I always got, be very little so we I held hands stuck and stuck in the slide and she kept going down and then 
I fixed myself and got down to the slide and when I was gonna get up, I couldn't see. So <laughs> I held on to her ponytail to get up and <laughs> I just threw her down. Yeah, like I felt like a thing pulling me down, but I didn't know it was her. <laughs> My favorite memory with you. Okay, so me and me and Jessica have been in piano where we were in piano for about ten years. Almost ten, you know, eight years. We we literally like practiced piano for eight years, and um, the last concert that we ever did, um, we did this um, dance that I had done previously with my friend Julie. So me and Jessica did this dance called um, "Like a Boy," and I think it was something that was very good because Jessica is a really good dancer, but she doesn't like to dance a lot. So it was. It wasn't like challenging for her, but I think it was challenging for me to teach her. Me and Jessica, like we literally had to practice together and kind of like do it together. And when the concert came around, every possible thing that could have happened wrong, happened wrong. But I didn't get nervous or anything and we did something together as sisters. And I think that like we weren't close back then because I was like in my private world and she was like in her private world. But I think that was something that like combined we did together. And I really liked the fact that I was able to at least once like showcase my sister and me dancing and obviously her because she's never danced so i'm the one that like usually dances and artistically like i've said but i loved having that like bonding moment with each other believe it or not you're full 100 percent sisters same mom same dad same everything but i like the fact that we're like so different though. Because usually sisters are always lookalikes, and we can go out in the street and nobody will know our sisters. Like, that's the funny thing, but I love it. So, for Jessica, it's not a guess. It's obviously Taylor Swift. She is like a Swifty at heart and for life. I, I go through faces, so right now I have like one in my head. Oh, Jessie J. Jessie J, that is my girl. I love her so much right now. Like, her songs just, they talk to me. <laughs> me. <laughs> I take so long. I take like a good two hours to get ready. I don't have to do like, my hair, my makeup. Or three. Or <laughs> three. It could be three. Jessica used to be like a flat girl, like she did not like heels, I mean growing up I was more always like, I guess I, at a younger age I wanted to dress nicer, I don't know why, but now she's, I think you're more into heels right now, I think we're both like into heels right now, like we like heels. We are Hispanic Latinas, 5'3 and 5'0, I don't like that to have hers about it, and she's 5 feet, so we like to be tall sometimes, that's good. and we like tall men, by the way. I think it depends on the occasion. Like, if we want to be comfortable, sometimes we wear dresses. If we want to like go to a party, obviously we're gonna wear like dresses. I wouldn't wear like a suit, like a like a pants and like a nice shirt for a party. I would wear obviously a dress. But if it was like to go out, I would probably wear like jeans and a shirt, like a comfy t-shirt, like to go to a mall or something like that. I think. And that we're like. If it were to be an exotic animal, like something that's not very common, I would probably say a monkey. But between ca cats and dogs, I really like both. I like a tiger. Really? Yeah. You're the adventurous girl. Yeah, she's really like adventurous. <laughs> no stopping her there. So we're all out of the... <laughs> Just one We're thing. all out of... Yeah, I guess. I have two hands. Okay, two things. A jar of coins, mm -hmm. just in case we lost all money. We had money to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. And my books. Your books. That's, that's good. I think that with one hand, I would take um, a photo album, just because I think that those memories we always want to keep. That's a good one. And... <laughs> Way to make me look bad. <laughs> with my other hand... That's take hard one. makeup. Of course, my high school diploma. I need that in my life. I'd probably take my high school diploma. I have to. Hmm. I would go for hands. Yeah, I, like sometimes I feel like watching something funny, but sometimes I feel like just Definitely watching. Definitely not horror. Yeah, not horror. We're not scary movie type of people. We watched um, like Insidious and we were like scared to death. Like we were scared for life. It depends. Though. Like if I'm, like if I'm. 
with my friends, I could either watch comedy or take work. I think it like depends on what mood you're I've had both. I've had a Blackberry and I've had an iPhone and I loved my Blackberry like that was my baby. I really loved it and I had wonderful memories in that Blackberry but if I were to pick one I'd probably pick an iPhone and I've had both so if, if an iPhone was made into like a Blackberry version I would probably pick the Blackberry. Like if I could have the best both worlds. So I love the whole like dancing movie type of thing. So my definite like favorite movie of all time has to be Step Up One. Not only do I like the storyline based on it, but I also like like the love story and I love how they're married now. But I do have to have like like my step up like the franchise is just I think so amazing and I love every single storyline the first one obviously was like the most impacting towards me and I love the song I'm a shine and things like that but um yeah that's my favorite movie. I just I said so much for so little step up one is the bomb.com oh okay uh I think I have an I idea thought, of yours I thought of another one but it's <laughs> it's like a sequel is it like the Divergent TV? No. Because I haven't even seen like the second. Oh, is it the, the Mocking TV? It's High School Musical. Oh, I love High School Musical. But I don't know. It's in between one and two. We're really like big, like hardcore Disney girls for life. Okay. One and two. High School Musical. High School Musical one and two. Mayo on the corn and with like a piece of like cheese and uh, they were serving for school lunch baked potato and Kayla would bring uh, Fruity Pebbles to school and they tried Fruity Pebbles from the baked potato Really? Yeah. You said there? Yeah <laughs> uh, Same iPhone covers, those are matching um, I don't think we have clothes that are matching I think we have like similar yeah, clothes no. We have like different things. I mean, I think that like me and my sister now got to a point where we both use each other's clothes. So when we do buy clothes, we buy like completely different things so we can both wear it. And then when I'm in games, <laughs> when I go to Tally, I just take like my clothes and clothes that are really like just for me. But when we come, when I come here, I'm like, just hey, you have so many new things. Can I wear this? Can I wear this? And she goes, Jenny, I miss wearing this and this and this. So I like like coming back and like wearing different clothes. But we literally can fit into those jeans. The only thing we don't have that is the same is like shoe size. Shoe size. And bra size. Because I know a lot of sisters have it. And, and panties. Yeah. Yeah. And panties are like a no. Like we can't share. Even though they're we're the same size. TV show. Uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Really? Yeah, I love it. Oh show. my god. My favorite old TV show is yours. That's a Raven. Yeah. I was like, like I would watch that every time they had like an episode. Raven, you the girl. And like, the current TV show. I would have to go with Castle. Like, that's just my favorite oh. TV show right now. Yeah, me too. Castle? So that is it for the sister tag video. I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Do you have anything to say to the people? Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming on my video. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> I dip in the pool. I trip to the spa. Endless days in my shades. The whole world according to moi. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm not fabulous, but it's my simple request. All things fabulous, bigger and better and best. Where is my pink product so Somewhere I've like never before. Nadine actually was like, Jenny, this is your song. Love you, Nay. Thanks for showing me what Taylor Swift's all about. I still remember the look on your face. Lit through the darkness at 158. The words that you whisper are just us to know. You told me you loved me, so why did you go?
And we play about a kid named Steven He's only running out of things to believe in Every couple of months, it's mommy For no good reason, except that beats him That's when it hits him Then these goddamn drugs won't fix him Now he's talking to God, cause he's the only one that gets him Sincerely yours, Steven here goes just the rest. It's Miss Miss Battle, it's Frizz in the bottle, it's Nikki full of bottle, it's all, oh, all. Oh. Can't tell good, it's tripping on wood, get a ride in the engine that could count. It's me, Chessy and Ari. If they touch me, they sorry. Got this cool like a Harley, then pull off in this Ferrari. Uh, B to the A, to the N to the G to the uh, B to the A, to the N to the G to the A. Bang, 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 bang. Good, good. She Michael Jackson bad. I'm attracted to her. Or her attractive. I'm not polite, so. And she still shy. I hate to see her go. But I love to watch her leave. And, and, and I'm the case. Ooh, baby. I'll be stuck to you like blue, baby. Cause when we disappear, you need GPS to find her. Oh, that was your girl? I thought I recognized her. Oh, I have that one. Ah, Siang Mula Bay.